Have you ever wondered what the sun is made of? How can we find out if we can't go there? Well, thanks to C.V. Raman, who's the first Indian to get a Nobel Prize in Physics. He investigated Raman effect after experimental evaluation. Raman effect is a scattering of light based on wavelength. What is a wavelength? A wavelength is the distance between two similar points on a wave. Two applications of Raman effect are emission spectra and absorption spectra. Emission spectra is using a spectrometer to look at different colors of light that are emitted by an element. And absorption spectra is whenever an atom absorbs energy, the electrons get excited and jump in orbital. And when they relax, the extra energy gives off in a form of spectral lines. When light comes from the sun, we expected it to contain all the colors, but there were a couple of wavelengths missing. So scientists compared the blank wavelengths to the emission spectra of known elements and put the emission spectra and absorption spectra together like a puzzle. So after that process, they found out that the sun is mostly made of hydrogen and helium. Do you know why the sky is blue? The sky is blue at daytimes because whenever the waves hit the molecules in the atmosphere, blue scatters the most. And do you know why the sky is red and orange during sunset? It's red and orange because blue light is scattered out of the spectrum, leaving mostly red and orange. Today, we learned everything about Raman effect just because of Mr. C.V. Raman. He's a superhero. Created using Powtoon.